good morning students today i'm going to teach you about uh, african heaven written by frank cobino parks frank cobino parks was born in 1932 in ghana and he was uh, one of the most important uh, poets in caribbean literature he was a ghanian journalist broadcaster and a poet now here in this poem he talks about uh, importance of freedom from the hands of the british or the colonizers in the very first stanza the writer invokes god to give him black men or chocolate brown or even dust like colored people to join hands together to fight against the colonizers in the second stanza he asks his fellow beings to bring three or four drums and uh, beat the drums to a very great extent in such a way that uh, the top portion of the drum should be peeled off that is the sheep skin which has been placed on top of the drum should be peeled off to such uh, with such vigor they should beat the drums the reason why he asks his fellow beings to do like that is the british people doesn't prefer to hear harsh noise so in order to irritate them he requests his friends to do so in the third stanza he asks his fellow beings to beat the drums in a louder note and he also asks his fellow beings to use calabash entwined with beads and uh, let the calabash resound in tune with the drums the request this is the request which he gives to his fellow beings calabash is an instrument made out of shell in the next stanza he asks his fellow beings to raise their voices and uh, ask the british to get out of their land he even asks his the women fellow be women fellow beings uh, to raise their voice and even the babies to scream in the next stanza he asks god to admit spectators alone to their land they can come and visit their land and enjoy the beauty of the land the setting sun and the green palms and eat lot of yams yams here refers to the uh, potato variety and uh, they can enjoy all the bliss in africa but they should not settle there he insists Odaman Koma uh one of the might be he would have been one of the chief priest or the chief of a particular village to admit the british as spectators alone they should not settle in their land they can listen to the native songs and the clang of wood and enjoy the beauty of africa but they should not stay there they should get away from their land the writer request verampoon to admit uh, the british as spectators alone and enjoy the beauty of africa they can bask in the balmy rays of the sun and uh, get away from their land 
this is the most important uh, message the writer uh, wants to communicate to his readers. Uh, the white people should not stay there or settle there. They should get away from their land after enjoying the beauty of uh, Africa. And uh, he considers his own nation to be not to be a uh, poor country, but he addresses Africa to be African heaven. So he pays tribute to his land. Uh, and he asks his fellow being, beings to struggle to get their freedom from the hands of the British. In this poem, the writer prays to God Almighty to help them to get freedom from the hands of the British. Thank you one and all.